feel better for that. Click Saturday and Sunday at 12.30 on the BBC News Channel. Coming up at 10.30, it's Sports Day. Then at 10.40, the papers will discuss the stories on tomorrow's front pages. Can I have a pint of milk and three packets of Brexit, please? The next train is the 11.15, calling at Peterborough, Brexit and Darlington. Do you want Brexit with that? Right, you've got the tickets and the passports. Did I pack the Brexit? Brexit. Not just politics, it's everyday life. Find out what it'll mean for you with BBC News. Tonight at 10, the worst wildfires in Greece for more than a decade have so far killed at least 76 people. The flames swept through woodland, destroying seaside towns east of Athens. Many people couldn't outrun the fires, caught out by their speed, the heat fanned by strong winds and high temperatures. I took my baby and uh, ran towards the sea, while my, my wife, I didn't know what happened. I think. She bent herself here. Greece's Prime Minister Alexis Tsipras says his country is going through an unspeakable tragedy. We'll be live in the worst affected area. Also tonight, after a pay cap and wage freezes, public sector workers get their biggest pay rise in nearly a decade. Aaron Banks, who donated millions of pounds to the pro-Brexit campaign, is under scrutiny for paying thousands into the bank account of an African politician. A site in Lancashire has been given the go-ahead by the government for the controversial process of fracking for shale gas. We hear the voices of those affected by what's being called the biggest scandal in NHS history, the contamination of blood products that infected thousands of people. I don't want my husband to have died in vain. I don't want my strong, healthy man to have been poisoned and died for nothing. And giving thanks for being alive, the rescued Thai boys take temporary vows to thank those who freed them. And coming up on Sports Day on BBC News, drama at the Tour de France, but protesters, hay bills and even tear gas couldn't stop Geraint Thomas from keeping the yellow jersey. Good evening. It's Greece's worst fire disaster in a decade. At least 74 people have died as flames fanned by strong winds and high temperatures swept through an area east of the capital, Athens. The wildfires forced residents and tourists to rush to beaches and into the sea to avoid the heat. Hundreds had to be rescued by local fishermen. But others were trapped as the flames devoured forests and destroyed seaside towns. The worst hit area was the tourist resort of Mati, where 26 people, some children, who tried to outrun the flames, were found dead, all huddled together. Well, our correspondent, Mark Lowen, is in Mati for us tonight. Mark. That's it. Now, it's time for all the news where you are here on BBC One. Bye for now. Pint of milk and three packets of Brexit, please. The next train is the 11.15, calling at Peterborough, Brexit and Darlington. Do you want Brexit with that? Right, you've got the tickets and the passports. Did I pack the Brexit? Brexit, not just politics, it's everyday life. Find out what it'll mean for you with BBC News. Hello and welcome to Sports Day. I'm Holly Hamilton. Coming up on the programme, 